Have you been trying to find backroom keys for hours on end with absolutely zero luck? That's probably gonna be because you're making this one major mistake. Today, I'm on my trading account to demonstrate the three best ways to get these keys because what most creators won't tell you is that it is super easy to actually get these keys if you do have the Super Drops Game Pass. So a lot of the advice that those people are gonna be giving you is gonna be a little skewed because they don't know what it's like to try to get it as a free-to-play player. And obviously, I'm not necessarily a free-to-play player. So for the purposes of this video, I'm gonna show you how to do it on an account using absolutely no game passes as well as show you guys the best way to find the secret doors that you can actually use these keys on what's the use of a backrooms key if you can't even find the room to actually open so stay tuned to the end because i have a brilliant way to actually find these rooms rather quickly now if you don't have super drops do not be discouraged you can most definitely get these keys as a free to play player you're just gonna have to do things a little differently so without further ado follow my lead and i'll show you how to get these keys and find these secret rooms easily now before we do anything if you want any chance at all to find these keys as well as the secret rooms you guys are gonna have to use the hoverboard glitch now technically you don't need to use this glitch but it's gonna save you hours of time while doing this because you're gonna be able to move so much faster also bonus points if you do have a shiny hoverboard but i know everybody cannot afford one but you absolutely don't need it it's just gonna boost your speed even more and if you are on a mobile device don't be discouraged because you can do this method as well the hoverboard glitch works both on pc as well as a mobile device so let me show you guys really quickly how to do it both ways so outside the back rooms building you're gonna walk up and essentially what you're gonna wanna do is when you enter the building, there's gonna be a loading screen with a little pet there. Now I'm pretty sure that pet is randomized, but when it's loading, it's actually gonna freeze up for a second and you're gonna want to press your hoverboard key, which is the Q key, right when that thing freezes. So that millisecond when the image actually freezes is gonna be when you're pressing the Q button so that you can use your hoverboard and bypass that block that they added. And don't get sad if it takes you a few tries because it takes me quite a few still. So let me demonstrate here. You're gonna head in and as soon as this pet freezes right here, that's when you're gonna be pressing Q. And hopefully that's gonna enable you to pull out the hoverboard. Obviously it didn't work the first time. It probably take me about four to five tries. But if you guys have quicker reflexes, you could probably do this a lot quicker than me. Personally, I'm just kind of slow and it takes me a second to actually do it. So let's try it again. All right, so as you guys can see, I think that was my fourth or fifth try and I got in. Even if this method takes you an extra five minutes, this is gonna save you so much time when you're actually in the back rooms that it is so worth it. Now, let me show you how to do it if you are on a mobile device. It is essentially the same thing, but what you're gonna have to do is just tap this hoverboard. It's gonna look like the hoverboard isn't there when the black screen is over it, but it really is still there. So just hover your finger over it before you enter in, and you're just gonna click it at the same exact time that I was pressing Q earlier. And you can actually do this method on PC as well. So if you think you would be better off clicking the hoverboard than pressing Q, then go right ahead and do it this way. Personally, this one is a lot harder for me, but I don't know about you guys. So let me demonstrate and show you how it's done. You're just gonna, okay, I clicked way too late there. <laughs> just hover your finger or your mouse over the hoverboard. And then when the pet freezes, you're just gonna click. And I did it too early again. I'm not even gonna tell you guys how many tries that took me, but the point is that it works. You guys probably have a lot better reaction time than me too, so it won't take you as long. There we go, we are now in the back rooms with our hoverboard and we can go into the deeper section. Just make sure you don't press Q or click the hoverboard thing anymore because if you accidentally turn it off, you're gonna have to redo it and come outside and do it again. Which brings us to our first point about how you can actually get these keys. And what most people probably do when they're trying to get these keys is just grinding one of these areas. Now, while grinding breakables is probably the most common way that these things actually do drop for people, without super drops, it's gonna take you absolutely forever. Especially if you're doing it in an area like this, but there's a specific area in this map that I'm gonna find and show you. And this is where you should be grinding if you are gonna try to just get the keys by grinding overnight or something like that also something important to mention make sure you do not die to any obstacles or anything while on the 
hoverboard because it is going to glitch you in the ground. Now, if you do get glitched in the ground, it's not a big deal. You don't need to reset or anything, but it is going to stop you from going through some of the obstacles, which isn't a big deal at all because you move so fast anyways, you can pretty much just go around anything. But taking extra caution when going around things is definitely a good thing to do. Now, surprisingly enough, this is the area I would suggest for you guys to grind in. And the reason for this is because you are going to be able to destroy this stuff a lot quicker. So your pets are actually going to have a higher chance to get a drop because you're going to be able to farm this area faster than the other bigger areas. I actually find that this area is very good for coins as well. Now on my pay to win account with super drops, I already have over 72 keys on there. So super drops is extremely OP when it comes to getting these keys, but it is definitely still possible with grinding areas like this. And that brings me to the second best method for getting these keys. And it's actually going to be in the loot pool of these boss chests. Now, the only problem with these boss chests is that they take forever to break, but I don't have the best stat pets yet, so I don't know if it is a lot quicker if you do have the really good stat pets. The sign on the wall does say that the backroom pets do a lot more damage, so I haven't tested that yet, but you can find a lot of these boss chests, so actually stopping and breaking them sometimes might be a really good idea because you could potentially get the key out of it. Now, I'm not going to say this is the fastest, but just because of how often this thing spawns, it does seem like it is a pretty pretty decent method overall. And the other thing with these boss chests is that after you destroy them, they do respawn after 10 minutes. So that's another bonus of why you can just come back to the same area that you found a bunch of them and keep destroying them and trying to get the key. It is important to note that enchants seem to not work on these chests at all. I could show you really quickly, but even with these corruption books on, it looks like it procs, but it actually doesn't increase the amount of damage that I'm doing to the chest at all, even with my pets equipped. And I also tested this with tap power, criticals, and a few other damage books, and none of them seem to affect the amount of damage that I do to these chests. I haven't been able to test if these books actually affect how much damage you do to the boss, but at the current moment in this update, enchants do not affect these boss chests. Now, the third and possibly the best method for finding these keys is most definitely going to be the boss battle. So specifically from just killing the boss, you have a very high chance to get one of these keys. And also on top of that, surrounding the boss, there are going to be four boss chests that actually have an even higher loot table than the regular ones. And they give you a really good chance at getting these keys. Now, the only problem with this is that it's actually very hard to find the boss battle. I don't know why it's so rare. Maybe by the time you're watching this, big games will have buffed how often it spawns. Because personally, I've only seen it twice. And the first time was only in that first video I made only an hour after the update it came out all right so i ended up getting myself killed which means i am now glitched in the ground but as you guys can see it doesn't really affect much you could still move around just like normal this basically only makes it hard to go through a few of the obstacles so it's not a big deal if you do die but if you do actually want to fix this all you have to do is just leave the back rooms and come back and you should be fine so it doesn't look like we're gonna find a boss battle anytime soon oh it looks like we actually found a door here so that's really good now this is gonna be another super important tip if you do not have a lot of keys you're definitely gonna want to do this but if you actually angle your camera like walk up to the door angle your camera like up in the corner somewhere and you get it just just right you can actually see through the wall and see what's behind it all right so i can kind of find it here it's like you got to be very particular sometimes some areas are easier to do it in but here it's like you got to be very specific but yeah if we go up in this corner and then just like go up and down a little bit you can actually see that it looks like it's going to be a blue area so it kind of looks like the diamond area to me so that way we know that this area is not going to be the 50 the 75 or the 100 x because that room is not going to have a zone at all. So it's important that if you don't want to waste the keys that you do get, make sure you're doing that so you can actually see if what's behind the door is really worth it. Now, I actually do want to test to see how long it takes me to find one of these locked doors. And I'm going to give you some tips before I actually go ahead and do it. But let's head back to the spawn room just so we can be completely fair. Now, let me start off by saying nobody can tell you a guaranteed way to find them consistently. Finding these secret rooms is always just going to be a game of luck. But what I can tell you is how to have the highest chance of actually finding one. And all that comes down to is being able to see the most spawned rooms possible. And we can actually do this in a few ways. So first of all, being on the hoverboard and having a potentially shiny hoverboard is going to help you a lot as you can just move through these levels super fast. And besides that, when you pick a path, you're going to want to pick the super long hallways because that's going to enable you 
who see the most amount of rooms without having to do a bunch of turns and stuff. And on top of all that, the devs have confirmed that the farther you are into the back rooms, the higher the chance these rooms to have to spawn. So all of this is going to come together to allow you to see the most amount of rooms possible and potentially be able to see that secret room. Now a specific strategy that you guys should be doing when you want to look for these secret rooms. After you come out of the portal, you're going to want to pick a direction and stay going in that direction the whole time. Now obviously the hallways don't go completely straight and you're going to have to make turns, but when you do make the turn, make sure you turn back when you have a chance to so you're still going in the same direction and you're going further away from the spawn. This is going to give you a higher chance for the locked rooms to appear as well as keep you from getting turned around and end up going in loop. Now this also helps you to see the most amount of rooms possible, so that's an added bonus. So I'm going to use all those tips and show you what I do if I am looking for one of these locked rooms. For this example, I'm going to go straight in this direction as long as I can and pick hallways that are super long so that we are able to see the most amount of rooms possible. As you guys can see, that only took me about two minutes and I was able to find one of these secret rooms. So now we can do our other trick and look through this wall and see if this is actually one of the eggs. All right, so I don't know if you guys were able to see. Oh, see, yeah, look. So as you guys can see, this is one of the diamond gardens. So we definitely don't want to use a key to open this one. We can also actually see with this one, you can see the grass coming from behind the wall. So if you ever come up to this and you see grass behind the wall, do not use your key on it unless you have some extra keys to spare because that's going to be a complete waste. Now that's pretty much what I do to find secret rooms. So I hope this can help you guys to find them for yourselves. And hopefully you can use one of those methods from the beginning to find one of the keys. I do think big games should definitely buff the drop rates for the keys especially for free to play players because it is extremely difficult but using those methods is going to be your best bet to finally get one i'm gonna go look for this boss fight and i'll see you guys later peace out